I never thought that I would be hosting a challenge, but here we are, so. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Do Something with Eliza. So, for today's video, I am really super excited. I know I say that about like every video, but. I'm like, extra excited for this one because it is my very own challenge that I am hosting so thank you so much to anyone who is going to be participating in this challenge and thank you to Annie from Indiana Jones for hosting this challenge with me as well this is the Christmas scrapbook paper challenge and for today's video I am going to be revamping a little truck and a little trailer from Dollar Tree. So this is the trailer. Obviously it's like the Christmas edition. It has like the little tree on it. I just don't necessarily love all of this like fuzzy stuff that's on it. I think it makes it look like a little cheap. Not really my style. So don't judge me. Obviously this is not in season right now. This is a Halloween truck. It's the one that came with like the little pumpkins, but rip those off because I'm not going to need them. I'm just going to be using the frame of this truck because I already had it so I wasn't going to go buy another like Christmas one since I'm going to take off all of this stuff anyways. To make them look a little bit nicer without like all the tinsel and stuff because like I said not really my style but once I revamp them they're going to look so cute. Look at them. So yeah this is today's project and it is called the Christmas scrapbook paper challenge. So I'm going to be using my scrapbook paper in order to revamp those. Oh look, you can see the camera. That's how shiny they are. Wow. But yeah, so I'm using some scrapbook paper that I got from Hobby Lobby to make these a little bit more classy looking. I don't know if you could really make a truck and trailer look classy. But I'm gonna try. With that, I will go ahead and give you guys a little breakdown of what we are going to be using for today's craft. All right guys, so here's everything you are going to need for today's project. If you wanna craft along with me, you are going to need a truck from the Dollar Tree, a super cute little trailer from the Dollar Tree, some various kinds of scrapbook paper, whatever colors you want your trailer and truck to be. Mine are going to be red and white, similar to how it is right now, but like less obviously fluffy and like tinsely. And then I also got some silver to like do the accents of like the truck's windows and maybe like the, the door for this. So yeah, I have those. I got my glue gun, my glue sticks, a pair of scissors. So first things first, I have to get all of the tinsel off of these guys. So let's go ahead and do that. So I now have these guys all nice and naky. They got no tinsel on them anymore, except for the tree. I'm gonna leave the tree because I think that looks cute, a little bit bushy. But yeah, so I went ahead, took off all the tinsel from these guys. It did make a bit of a mess, so just fair warning to anyone who's gonna try this. Um, I took off all the decorations from it too. I'm gonna keep this little wreath because I think the wreath is cute as well. So I'm just gonna set that aside. Everything else, honestly, I'm just gonna toss. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pop off all of these little things from the side. So that way I have like a nice, clean um, skeleton, I guess, or you know, stencil so super easy just go around and pop all these guys i am going to go ahead and grab my scrapbook paper and just measure out how much i am going to need like for the trailer first i'm going to use the top part in this really nice shiny red color so I'm just gonna flip it around here 
and give it like a rough trace of where I need to cut out the paper and make it actually like a little bit bigger. There we go, just so I'm working in a smaller amount because I am going to glue this part that I'm cutting off directly onto here so that way it keeps a nice like dome shape. And then for the bottom part of the trailer, I'm going to use this nice shiny white paper. So I'm just gonna do the same thing, measure out a rough estimate of how much of the bottom white paper I need and just trace it and cut that out. Now that I have these two pieces cut out, I am going to go ahead and start gluing. Even though it is larger than what we actually need, I'm still just gonna glue it like this because we wanna have enough give for it to keep that round shape and then I'll go back and just cut out around it. So, I'm gonna start on the bottom part of it. All right, so now that I have this bottom left corner glued, I'm going to work my way around so that way I can help it form that dome shape until I get back to this right corner right there. Alright, so as you can see, due to it being so round, it kind of goes crooked a little bit right here. So I'm just going to cut that part to try and flatten it out. Alright, so now I'm just going to glue the white strip over this red one here. All right, so now that I have the red and the white paper glued down, I'm just gonna go through and cut off all of the excess from the sides here. Now I am just going to glue on all the accents to the trailer, so the wheel, the door, and the little wreath that I had removed from the original design and the trailer will be all done. So I'm just gonna repeat the process with the little red truck. All right guys, so here it is. The final product all done, hanging up on the wall. I think personally it looks super cute. I still like how shiny it is, um, just without like all the fuzzy like tinsel and stuff because I felt like I said that makes it look like a little cheap. So I think just adding some plain scrapbook paper to it really helped it stand out. And for the little handles on the doors, I actually used um, the little black things that I had popped off the original frame from the truck. So I saved a couple of those and they came in handy as a little handle. So that's how it looks hanging up on my wall. And overall, I really like how it came out. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. It was just a quick little craft for my Christmas scrapbook challenge. Um, if you're participating in the challenge, thank you so much for participating. And if you're not, make sure you still watch all the videos in the playlist because I'm sure they are going to be great. And with that, make sure you like, comment on this video, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.